Hi, okay, welcome to our next short and sweet video. Today we're gonna learn about transplanting. So what we have here is our baby vegetable. This is baby choisome. Uh, this is my lazy seed tray. Uh, I know they sell the seed trays with many many holes there. You can use that. Uh, for me, I actually like this method because all I do is I put a drill and put my seeds in. So these seeds usually for all your leafy vegetables like choy sum, your siu bak choy, your nai bak, all these things. Uh, if your germination soil is good, within two weeks you should be able to get ready vegetables like that. How do you know ready? Come, 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 come closer. Alright, how do you know when your baby vegetable is ready for transplanting? Usually what we look for are the leaves. So if you come closer here, you can see your babies have the baby leaf and you have the true leaf on the top here. So normally I say minimum you have 3-4 leaves, it's ready. So what we're going to do now is take your nice little shovel, dig in, get as much of the soil as possible, grab a handful of it, and we're going to go do our transplanting now. Alright, we are now here at our bed, our new bed for transplanting. So, you want your tool set down. So this uh, little makeshift ruler here has been marked at 10 cm apart so we know where our vegetable is going to be uh, located. Alright, okay, we're going to start from this corner. I like to move since I'm right-handed, I like to start from the right to left. So this is the bed that we have already watered, make sure that it's wet so that the plants doesn't get a dry shock. Just put it there. And then if you want to come closer, okay, what we want to do is try and handle our vegetables with care. So pick it up, you see your roots there. Try not to upset too much of the roots, grab as much of the soil as possible. Have your hole, plonk it in, okay? So what we're going to do is to actually mark your hole, see where the 10 cm is apart, mark where your vegetables are going to be, and then go ahead, grab your next wedgie. Like you say, uh, takes a little bit of delicate care, but once you're used to it, that's it. Grab as much, don't upset the root, put it in, cover the soil, okay? So here you go. Very simple, right? So I think I've uh, done this too many times already, so it's quite easy. But for some of you young ones, just say for instance, come closer. If you see like you know, two of these are very close together, don't worry. You can always plant two together because you, you don't want to really separate them apart. Alright, just put it in there. Alright, so we hope that you've learned something from today, like say, when you transplant your vegetables, first thing first, make sure it's in the evening. Don't do this in the morning because you have the whole noon to shop the plant. Second thing is make sure your bed is wet when you do your transplanting. If you need help, a nice ruler will help. And then the next thing is when you handle your plants, handle with care so that you try and break it with as much soil attached to the roots as possible before you plonk them down. Alright, happy growing! Final step after your transplanting to water your plants. What I like to do is actually don't water directly on top of it. If you can come closer, you can see what I'm trying to water is around the plant. So if you can see the, where the line is, we are watering in between the plants. This is also a great way because you are also encouraging the roots to grow further up. Alright, so you can see now what you're doing is you're actually trying not to water directly on top of the plant vegetables but just along the line in between of it. So we hope you have learned a little bit from this uh, short and sweet video. We catch up with you in the next video, okay? Happy growing!